Hi, Adrian Manyatoro here. Uh, today, uh, our topic is. Let's get our topic here because I don't want to say something else. Uh, is how some have been inspired into business. How some have been inspired into business. How do people get really inspired into business, right? Uh, like I was saying a while ago, uh, I know I wasn't live. I wasn't live in uh, some of these uh, uh, platforms, but I was saying earlier on that some people are inspired by maybe they're inspired by someone else doing something successful. And they it might be your dad. Uh, it might be circumstances. Uh, most people actually, if you ask them how they came into business, they will tell you that they came into business because they were they were inspired by uh, circumstances, right? When things are tough, when things aren't going right, right? Uh, and then they they find themselves in that situation and they decide that things cannot stay the same, right? I think probably I fall in that pattern. I think probably I fall in that pattern because although I didn't start business that way, but I I I was driven to success because of the the, the corner that I found myself in, right? But some people, right? What what happens to them is that they get inspired. They literally meet somebody who is uh, quite maybe good in business, and they just say to them, "Would you like to start business? Because I can show you how." Maybe it's their dad, maybe it's their uncle, maybe it's it, it's someone just in the in the lineage that uh, or in the family who is who just inspires them, right? Maybe even they're inspired from far away. And one of the things that I benefit most from myself is I like being inspired by somebody from far away, right? Not necessarily next to me, right? If they say one word, right? If somebody I really, really trust, they just speak me, speak to me one word, I take that word and just run with it. So I don't necessarily uh, need people to be around me. But, you know, like I say, some people are inspired by, by their relatives. Uh, they can come to them and say, hey, but you can do business if you come and do this and that and that and that, right? But some other people are just inspired by maybe situations, maybe by fear. You know, some fear can can either destroy you or you can you can you you, you, you can have this kind of fear that you don't want. Like me, for example, I didn't want to go back to the life of. Uh, of lack, the life of no success, of no progress, the life of uh, not having anything in life, right? Uh, I, I, I just didn't like that. Uh, and uh, what really inspired me, just in case somebody is there, what really inspired me is, is that uh, I was uh, I was in high school, and when I go to high school, I realized that uh, uh, my brothers and, and and sisters who had actually promised that. Where if I go to high school, they're going to be responsible for my education. They will be there for me. I I discovered that once I got there, they just they were just maybe playing around. They were not serious with with, the, with their promises. So when I got there, now I had to you know fend for myself. And because of that, I decided I was just going to work extremely hard. Right, I wish I did. Right, I I, I was one of those those those. Uh, those students who would follow the teacher around and, and tell them, yeah, you've got to give me a test. You must give me a test. You must give me a, a test right now. I need a test right now. You know, literally doing that. And the teachers would just, just have to give me a test because I want to check out if I'm ready for the exam. I was just like that kind of a guy. I was inspired so bad. That there was no way I could fail. I remember when uh, my uh, junior certificate results came out, right? You know, I was staying with my mom in the village, and we had no proper like uh, communication to get the the results as quick as we can. So by the time the the, the school reopened, I had not even got the results. You know what I did? I just packed up my my bags and went to 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 school because I knew I've been I, 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 I passed. But <laughs> I didn't have to see the results to know that I passed. I knew that I had passed. So I just went to school. And when I got there, I realized I'd passed and, and everything was fine. That's how hard I was. I was working so hard. It was so painful, right? You 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 you, you know that intensity? That's that's how hard I was working. So 
sometimes you get inspired by, by circumstances, uh, even into business, you get inspired into us by circumstances. So today, what's happening is one of, uh, of my business partners is sharing his story of how he got inspired into business uh, by the circumstances that surrounded, surrounded, surrounded him and uh, some other people that inspired him. Which is a good story. It's a nice story if you like uh, people from, from those people that come from uh, uh, from from rags to riches, right? Stories. It's one of the greatest stories. So if that interests you, go ahead, click on that link below this video, and just basically uh, watch that. And, uh, and I might say that when I was when I was trying to watch that uh, that story, the video wasn't playing, so I had to go down below and opt in. So I can be able to get the audio. So you might have to do the same. So uh, thank you so much for listening to me today. I'll speak to you again tomorrow. Bye for now.